How's it guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, sorry I've been gone for so long, obviously the fishing and stuff has been a bit slow, so I haven't been able to make a video unfortunately. Um, I've been trying to get some content, but the fish haven't just haven't been playing the game with me. Um, been fishing local, been traveling a lot, uh, still nothing, so yeah, I'm working hard to try and get that fish content for you guys, but it just isn't on my side. So I've decided to bring you guys something that might be slightly more helpful, um, which is a Tackle Tuesday. Uh, so I actually got this idea from another YouTuber, um, Slideline USA. They are based in America um, and they talk about tackle and stuff that helps or works up in that area, obviously, um, in America. Uh, so I thought I'd bring it to you guys here in South Africa, uh, my very own version. Uh, yeah, so it's a new series, Tackle Tuesday, welcome. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy and I hope everything that I do on a Tuesday or the videos I post on the Tuesdays um, will be helpful to you guys that need to or have questions um, about what I explain. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. So on today's Tackle Tuesday, um, we are going to be discussing a question I have gotten multiple times, um, which is the debate between getting the Assassin Horizon Zero XH or the Double XH. So today's video is going to be all about explaining what the rod has, uh, explaining its capabilities, um, the components it's made up with, um, the type of species I'd target uh, with both rods, um, where I'd use both rods and like what sort of structure I'd need whichever rod. Um, and yeah, I'll just basically go through the rundown and yeah, I'll see if maybe it doesn't help you guys make your decision uh, slightly easier. <laughs> So, out of my personal arsenal, we've got my double uh, XH, the red rod. This is a new rod, I recently got it. Uh, well, I actually got it in December before I went to St. Francis. Um, but yeah, this is my double X. And then I have the XH in the silver. What we'll do is I'll start off with explaining the XH. So, the XH rod. The Assassin Horizon Zero XH comes in two different colors. It comes in the silver, which is the one I have here, and then it also comes in a green um, off the shop floor. So the XH is rated at six to eight ounces, which is 170 to 227 grams, um, obviously excluding a bait. So what that basically means is you can throw a sinker and a bait between six and eight ounces and the rod will still be able to handle it. Obviously with different size baits you'd either need to scale down on the sinker or scale up, um, but that I'll explain in just a second. Um, its PE rating is 40 to 50 pound, so that is the recommended uh, breaking strain of braid you should be using on these types of rods. Uh, purely just because you can't overpower the rod obviously, uh, let's say you put 80 pound on and you lock your drag. Um, the possibilities of you snapping the rod are a lot higher than using a 40 or 50 pound braking strain, which is what the rod is built to handle. Um, it is a 15 foot rod. They do not come in anything shorter, so um, yeah, you won't find them in any shorter lengths. Uh, well, not the XH, that is. Uh, obviously, you have the heavy, which comes in a 14 foot and a 15 foot, um, but that's not the case with the XH as well as the double XH. So, all the, the whole Horizon range comes fit standard with the Fuji uh, K-Series guides. I think it's a K-Series. Comes with the uh, Fuji guides. These are, have like this special coating over it that helps to prevent rust, obviously. Um, and they are hella strong. I uh, know I've bumped this rod, or I've dropped the rod, I've done a lot of things to this rod. Um, and these guides are still held up, even the ceramic discs on the inside, they are super strong. Um, this rod is about two years old. It's caught a heck of a lot of fish. Um, 
pretty much all the fish you see on my Instagram would be with this rod. Uh, that's obviously because I bought it when I started getting slightly better um, and getting a lot more into the sport. They also come fitted standard from the factory with this EVA grip. Lots of guys like to replace the EVA grip with um, a wind grip. Personally, I don't like the wind grip. I find it gets very slippery when you have obviously the slime from the bait and the water and that sort of stuff. Uh, gets super, super, super slippery. Um, but some guys, they do like the wind grip They're over the EVA grip. Um, but I must say this EVA grip has held up very well. Um, it's obviously got a few scuffs and bruises and stuff inside it, but uh, that's what happens when you have a rod for two years and you fish it really hard almost every weekend. Um, all the Assassin Horizon range also comes fit standard with the uh, new and improved um, Assassin Bionic Finger number two, or the version two. Um, this obviously is your casting mechanism, it helps you cast. Some guys don't like to use it. Uh, you do have the option to take it off. You can either do it at home or you can send it in and get it taken off. Um, but I recommend keeping it on. Just helps to cast further, um, not cut your fingers, that sort of stuff. Also comes fit standard with a high quality Fuji winch um, that is super strong. Uh, I've never ever heard of a story of these breaking. Um, and yeah, they're super reliable. So yeah. The fish that I would target specifically with the XH. So, the conditions I would generally fish this is off like a small rocky point or off the beach or something like that when you're fishing on the sand. Um, you don't really have to put too much pressure on the fish and pressurize the fish into coming into shore, obviously in the case of fishing in between reef and stuff. Um, so yeah, the fish I would target with this would probably be for the Kaiserin coastline, um, your odd honeycomb, your sandies, uh, diamond skates, obviously dependent on the area. So the diamond um, and the sandies and stuff like that, it's nice to target them um, off a rocky point, but in a place where you don't really need to pressure the fish into coming over the bricks. Um, the rod can do it, don't get me wrong, but in the case of a very highly bricked up area, it is nice to have a slightly heavier rod. Um, but time and time again, this XH has definitely surprised me um, in its capabilities and the backbone it has. Um, especially when pulling fish over big reefs, um, when having to pull with the water to come over rocky ledges, um, that sort of stuff. Um, so I would recommend you use this for your sandies, your honeys, um, your small greys, spinners, that sort of stuff. If you're just looking to have a little bit of fun, um, even if there's a slightly bigger grey around um, between the 10 or put it 8 and 10 kilo range, maybe 12 kilos, um, I'd say this rod is suited perfectly for that. It can also be used for cob fishing. Um, let's say you get stuck on the beach, you have two heavy setups um, and you are looking for something that's versatile where you are still, where you still have a chance of catching, let's say, a cob or a garrick. This rod definitely is suited for that if you do not have a heavy with you or if you are someone who's looking for a rod that can do almost anything and everything, this would be the rod for you. Uh, it can do light edible scratching. The tip is very sensitive, um, but has more than enough backbone. So don't let this is the sensitivity factor um, influence you into not buying this rod. It can fish for edibles. I've done it myself. I put my 10k go so with 40 pound braid on and with 30 pound braid. Um, it throws phenomenally, and yeah, it really is a good rod to use. Um, if anything. I would probably take this over the double X H if I'm just looking for an overall versatile catch anything rod. Um, okay, obviously, if you're fishing for slightly smaller edibles like bronze bream and stuff, it is definitely better to buy uh, like a spinning rod or the Assassin Horizon Zero medium. Um, but if you're looking for something to catch like cob between the three kilo range and heavier and Garrick, uh, Stumpies, that sort of stuff, if you want something very versatile, this is a rod to get. So I fished this rod with the Saragosa 25,000 and I have 50 pound um, JDB Ultratech braid on. Um, the 25K is very nice, it does balance the rod out very well, but I'd recommend you fish it. Fish this rod with a slightly smaller reel. So something like the Saragosa 20,000 or 18,000, or you look at, in the pen range, the 7.5 range, uh, 7.5 size, uh, with the Dawa, probably six and a half size. Reason being is it just, it's a little bit lighter. Um, it just suits the rod better. I would fish 
I generally fish 50 pound with the XH, um, purely just because I fish slightly lighter with my heavy. Um, but if you do want to throw a smaller reel on like your Ghost at 10k or whatever with a lighter line, it definitely does suit the rod very well. It's very well balanced. Um, it throws a mile when it has such light braid, um, especially with a 7 ounce sinker and a bait. Uh, so yeah, you can basically just experience or explore a little bit and see what suits you in certain areas. Um, but yeah, this rod definitely is very capable. I've taken it to Sardina and I've put 80 pound on my Saragossa 25,000. I've locked up. Probably not the most ideal thing, um, considering the rod is weight rated 40 to 50 pound, but it's definitely, definitely well underrated for what its capabilities are. Um, it's got an exceptional backbone. The parabolic bend is just, it's amazing. Bends all the way from the butt to the tip, not a problem. Um, super strong, you can pull super hard on the rod. Um, and yeah, it can really land giants if it needs to, or if it's put in the position to land a giant. Uh, definitely will not. It definitely will hold up to its expect uh, its expectations and its um, reputation. Um, yeah, definitely the rod I'd recommend for your angler that needs an all rounder. Um, then if you're getting more serious, like I have, it is nice to have two different rods, so something slightly lighter. You want to throw that extra distance um, and you're looking for that smaller gray or that sandy or whatever um, then i'll use this rod but if i'm looking to throw for a raggy or a diamond you preferably want something slightly heavier um, obviously for the size of the fish so your raggies can range anything between 30 kilos and 200 kilos let's say um, so i definitely recommend the double x for that the XH definitely will be able to handle it, no questions asked. It is exceptional, but it is nice to have that extra pulling power um, when you need it. The only difference is the double XH is slightly more difficult to throw as it requires a heavier sinker and a heavier bait in order for that bend um, to get that like a proper bend when you're throwing so that the rod can flick your bait out um, and then it loads properly as well. So generally with the double X, it's a Rated 7 to 9 ounce, which is 200 to 255 grams. Um, I generally throw an 8 ounce with a big bait on. Uh, loads of rod exceptionally well. You can go down to a 7 ounce if you put a really, really big bait on, but uh, this rod is a beast. It can handle an 8 ounce in anything. Um, so yeah, within reason, obviously, that is. Uh, it is also 15 feet. Like I said, it doesn't come in anything shorter, which is probably better. The 15 feet I find is a lot more comfortable to throw a big bait with um, and its PE rating is 40 to 50 pounds as well but guys generally fish a 65 pound to an 80 pound with this rod um, purely just because you can you have the capability to lock up and hold a fish with this rod the backbone is ex exceptionally strong um, and yeah the double XH I would fish it off when you're fishing in really rough reef so for the guys I know that are in the west coast and stuff that fish for your gully sharks um, the double XH with an 80 pound definitely is the rod to use for that uh, as it has an exceptional backbone and you can lock up on a fish and hold him without him going back into a reef or something like that. Um, it's also very nice for pulling those raggies when they get stubborn on the lip of a bank. Um, you really can just wind down and pull the fish over that ledge. Same as a diamond, we all know diamonds can be stubborn as well. Um, but yeah, the, this rod is also very versatile in the non-edge range can catch your obviously your smaller greys and your bigger greys and stuff like that won't be as much fun as catching it on the xh let's say um obviously because it's such a strong rod that you'll just tow the fish um so yeah the real i'd recommend fishing on the double xh would most likely be a ghost of 25k or um in the pen range either the 8.5 or the 9.5 range um and then in the dial probably the 8000 range uh, well, in the case of the Saltiga, the new 2020 Saltiga, uh, it would be the 20,000 range. So, yeah, that's a size I'd recommend putting on here. And then I would recommend fishing, like I said, 65 pound or 80 pound. Obviously, depending um, how far you'd want to throw and decide uh, like certain areas you're going to be fishing. Um, so, yeah, generally when I go and fish the together area, I take both rods. Um, Preferably just before, just because if I want to get that extra distance, I'll throw on the Horizon double, uh, the XH with those tiles slightly smaller base to let's say get behind a bank or if there's smaller fish in the area, 
Um, but if I'm specifically targeting reggies and diamonds, then I'll throw on the double XH. Um, obviously with bigger baits and heavier sinkers, that sort of stuff. Um, like I said earlier, the double XH does come fitted with the Fuji guards as well, um, as well as the as well as the Bionic Finger, the new and improved Bionic Finger, and uh, a high quality Fuji winch. Um, so yeah, exceptionally strong rod. When it comes to throwing the two rods, the XH is definitely better for most anglers, as I have spoken to a few guys who have thrown the double XH and it just doesn't suit their casting action. It does hurt sometimes when you're throwing with the rod, like if you throw it incorrectly, um, I've had experience with that. You throw it incorrectly and you get hurt. So you really got to adapt to it. Um, it. Takes a while to get used to throwing a heavier rod with a heavier sinker and that sort of stuff, especially if you've been fishing with the x for a while. Um, and for that slightly smaller, per se shorter, or um, the guys that aren't really that built, the x is definitely more recommendable, um, but, if you are quite stocky and you have the power and you can throw the double XH, then I'd recommend that one. Um, that's specifically if you're targeting big fish all the time. Otherwise, I'd recommend the XH because it's a more versatile rod and you're not going to be disappointed. If you can buy both, that is perfect. Um, then you have you have it all. You have everything. Um, I've found when I throw the double XH, uh, I found the perfect sort of balance between power and technique. So it, it took a while, it did take a lot of practice, but I eventually got it right, um, my casting is fine, I don't hurt myself anymore, um, and I'm able to put a bigger bait with a heavier sinker a lot further than what I was before, um, as well as not hurting myself and putting it in that zone where the fish are going to feed. Uh, so before I put you off of buying the, the XH, um, I'm just going to insert a few videos and pictures of the fish that I've hooked and the capabilities of the rod. Unfortunately, I haven't got anything yet on the double XH, um, any video clips of me pulling decent fish or anything like that, um, which is to come, but the rod definitely is a beast. You can pull super hard on it. You can put your entire body weight on it and lean into a fish on a lock drag, and that rod will just keep pulling and never let you down. The XH, you can do the same. You can put a lot of pressure on that rod, but obviously it's a lot softer, so it won't be able to put as much pressure on a fish as you would with the double XH. Um, in conclusion, so if I had to decide, if someone had co comes into the shop and tells me that they want to fish with versatility, they want to target both edibles and non-edibles with a rod, um, obviously your slightly bigger edibles, I'd recommend the XH. If you're going to be throwing for mainly in edibles, your bigger in edibles, from about 30 kilos higher, um, and you're going to be fishing in heavily reefed areas and stuff like that, I would recommend the double XH. Um, I'd also say that if you struggle to throw a heavier rod um, with a big bait or something like that, definitely don't go for the double XH. Um, it will hurt you and it will disappoint you. You're not gonna enjoy the rod. You're gonna end up selling it and buying the XH. Um, I know a lot of guys that have made that mistake 
and they're regrettably did it because you lose money um, and you don't enjoy the rod that you buy. It's not a bad rod, it is an exceptional rod. I enjoy fishing with it. Um, so yeah, if you can throw the heavier rod, definitely the double XH. Um, but if you can get both, like I said, then you are set for everything. The nice thing about the Horizon range is they all come in a very nice traveling gun bag. Um, this one is for the XH, obviously the black and white is for the silver. Um, and then the red one comes with a red bag with yellow writing. Also, gun bag, it's got padding inside, um, very good quality. Uh, it will keep your rod protected for a very long time from scratches and bumps, uh, especially when traveling. And uh, yeah, it's definitely well worth your money. The price difference between the um, XH and the double XH is quite a bit. Um, the XH goes for about seven, eight, or seven, seven, eight to eight grand, um, whereas the double XH goes between eight and a half to nine grand. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit of it's a grand jump, obviously in the difference, um, but it's understandable. You are fishing either or well, you're going to buy um, something lighter or you're gonna buy something heavier. So the grand difference does definitely do the justice. Um, but yeah, both exceptional rods. Thanks guys for watching my video. Well, I hope that whatever I've said and I've explained to you guys has helped you um, in your decision making when buying either of these two rods or when you are stuck between making the decision between these two rods. I just wanna thank you guys if you've watched all the way to the end. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I am gobsmacked by the amount of support I've gotten guys let's push to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the next two months um that is my goal so far um we're already almost halfway there we're on 434 subscribers um so yeah guys please share my page um to anybody you think will need the help um or will enjoy my page and yeah i just want to thank you guys again for all the support for liking for subscribing for watching all my videos um it's been amazing guys let's keep this going uh i can't wait to share some more fishing content with you um i am in the midst of buying another reel so unfortunately i won't be able to buy um, a gopro as yet but that definitely is in the plans it definitely will happen this year um and then i can bring you guys more better quality videos um so yeah let's get on that and i wish you guys all the best uh, in the new year and yeah we'll see you in the next one Please like, share, subscribe and have a good one.